All right. Come along. Come along. Follow me. Right. Who wants to play a game? You do. Yes. 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 A cup of tea game. We've got two minutes in to go now. Oh, I can't see what I have to do. I want to hit West End. <laughs> Ribbled Ricky at your service. Put out the cat and dim the lights as we prepare to face again the awesome challenge that is the Crystal Maze. If I had to think of a game show that encapsulated the 90s, it's got to be the Crystal Maze. Welcome to the Crystal Maze. So the Crystal Maze was based on a French game show called Fort Boyard and was produced by Channel 4 from 1990 to 95 and then was resurrected again in 2015. There will be four presenters in the total, but the one that everybody remembers is the original presenter, that of Richard O'Brien. And here he is now! Oh no he's not. So Richard's not here to help me out with Crystal Maze because I never watched it. I prefer the adventure game with that plan that used to go. I'll cover that again. Instead I'm lying now, ready to be zoomed, it's my good friend Andy Watson. Hey Andy, how are you? Very well, thank you, Dave. How oh, are you? brilliant. Thank you for coming on the memory bubble. Well, it's, uh, it's a delight to sit and I haven't spoke to you in ages. We'll have a oh, bit of catching up doing later. Uh, but for now, well, we've got business, and it's uh, your pick for uh, your favorite TV show, which is The Crystal Maze. Now, it's something I didn't really watch. All I know of it is like the Krypton Factor, but with like six people trapped in the room with a guy with a bald head who's like, well. <laughs> And uh, then there's this bubble at the end catching tickets. That's all I know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, that was pretty much it. That was why, that was the thing that I liked about it was, it was, um, it was the simplicity of it. I mean, you don't get, you don't get shows like that anymore where it was just, I don't know, it was almost kind of a bit of a joke, like how, how like low the budget was. You know, Richard O'Brien would be like, to the future zone, you know, he'd run off the set cut to a commercial break, cut back to <laughs> running onto the exact same set covered in tin foil, you know. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, I, mean, I, I saw bits like, where I, like, to the Aztec zone, and like the road end, it's like river thing. You see the old doors? Yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll give it to the whoever did the design work. It's got a special Aztec cladding as going down this way. But then you see a fire exit sign in like a few bit boiler pipes and all the ceiling. <laughs> Do you remember that fire exit sign? <laughs> in the middle of the fucking Sahara. I mean, there was quite a few things on Channel 4 that time, and I always got mixed up and saying, right, hang on, uh, Crystal Maze. Is that the one with Kenneth Kendall? Uh, the, oh, the bird who jumps out the helicopter. I'm, I'm lost. All yeah. oh, right, well, listen, we, we are actually in the toast rack. All the seats yeah. are, are sort of in racks. Oh, right. Are you getting off? It's being pulled by a horse. What does oh, that yeah. not do? Yeah, it was good, and they're all, you know, because of the time it was in as well, they're all in a... Uh, bloody running around in shell suits you know <laughs> they just had or, you know it was they had to pick what kind of challenge do you want to do do you want to do uh you know do you want to do a mystery a skill a physical or the other one you know oh right, so they had a choice I, I didn't know they had a yeah. choice i said right this is it this is what you're having today go yeah. oh shit well, they, we always assumed they knew one another you know we always assumed that like I because I, I always thought it was like a team build, you know, and <laughs> sort to the extreme, you know, and um, uh, but no, it wasn't. And they just go, um, oh, and they just you could see him go. He wears specs. He's probably good at this kind of thing. And, they, and if they did shout anything, they just keep going. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. And they got like. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. It's that kind of because it's naff. Yeah. That's what that's the the novelty appeal to it. That's you know because it's you know it, it's just naff. It's uh, but but you know it's funny like um, like the Crystal Dome. That was a uh, that was a uh, you know it was all like this ceremony of like you couldn't just go in. He's like no, I have to I have to raise the drawbridge, and he'd go you know press the button, and there'd be this little kind of 
But you know, like when you go to the swimming baths and you and you just you know you have to wash your feet first yeah. <laughs> in about half yeah. a millimetre of water, <laughs> and you just go. This bridge goes. <laughs> like that. Yeah. Right, you can go. Yeah, and um, and he go. You know, gold tokens. Yeah. And the Kit Kat wrappers are good. Silver ones are bad. <laughs> <laughs> so we'd say to them afterwards, you got 450 million gold tokens. <laughs> but I'm afraid you got 450 million and one silver ones. So I'm sorry, the uh, you haven't worn, and they're just like, you're fucking joking. <laughs> you know, maybe there's a little crystal that I've just carved in with the end of a compass. I catch, I crack the crystal, though. There you go. Pass them along, one each, you know. So um, yeah, no, that was uh, that was the gist of it. Mm, two minutes have you got? Your time starts now. Can we just go down the pub for a pint of Alec Guinness? Get a move on, me up. Brilliant. Well, I've got some facts for you. Oh, okay. Right. So at the end, like you said, with the Kit Kat wrappers, the the, the that go, and I like them doing that. Do you know the film <laughs> twice? Yeah. Oh, yeah, sorry. The actually filmed that bit twice. Because the first, because oh. they realised when they first filmed it, when when they kick out the rappers fall, they're just like on the floor looking for stuff like this. this is like, it looks shit. So the first, yeah, thing, yeah, because they, like, the, um, they have that shot, didn't they, where it's like echoing and in slow motion of the yeah. stuff falling towards the camera, don't they? Yeah. So what they do now is the, the film, the outtake is actually mainly the actual thing they're going for, where it's alright, just jump. We won't use this. They do. <laughs> because it's more energetic. Oh, oh, oh. So they really cut out the main bit. What, so they, like, have oh, yeah. it, they have him jumping around. They have him jumping around the trying to grab a, grab a Kit Kat they're after. And the, but the main bit when it says, right, go and find your, your Kit Kat, everything's more or less fallen. And then on the floor, like, wading <laughs> through the crap looking for it. He went, yeah, that's not cinematic. Let's just go for the. Yeah! Weird. So you're, right, so you're telling me that they weren't the things weren't flying around when well, they were jumping. flying around. Yeah, but they put more effort into it when they all fell because everybody thought oh, this rocks have all fallen. There you are, got it. Yeah, yeah. There you go. There's so the gold. Around like a dragon when you can't see a thing. No, no. Yeah. Jump around when you can't see a thing, and then when they come out, they've obviously been on the floor too. Yeah. The set itself, I mean, I didn't know how big it was, but apparently it's just, just a bit bigger than the football field. Two football fields. Football field, yeah. I think it was them bits where, because I liked it how, I like the bits when, because sometimes they go, oh, let's, you know, go to this other zone, and it goes, dun, 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 dun. But yeah, when they had to, like, crawl through an actual, like, pipe and stuff like Tim Robbins at the end of Shawshank. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, by the way, anyone watching this, if you've not seen that film, then tough. You know, <laughs> Presenter-wise, how many presenters, UK ones, were they? In total. Thinking I, about it, that is, uh, it started off in the 90s, it's, but it's had a resurgence recently. Is it three? Four. Is it three? It's four. Oh. Four. Because I know you got Richard O'Brien, Edward Tudor Pole, Richard Adeyale. Uh, yeah, I can't get surname yeah. right. Stephen Merchant, I was going to say Ricky Gervais's mate. Oh, yeah, yeah. He, he did it for a, a one season and then... Yeah, so there's been four. Right, there you go. What connects the first presenter with the second presenter other than Crystal Maze? Which will run there, but she'd apply. What connects them? Which will run there, but she'd apply. What connects them? I've got three names. <laughs> if, you count, uh, if you count O apostrophe as an A, I'm not sure. What's I'm Richard O'Brien sure. mostly famous for? Rocky Horror Show. Yeah. Well, Mr. Tudor Paul took over him when he, he left his stint for a while. Oh, so they played the right. same character. So basically, I was going to say why that, if they'd have just kept that going, you could have had Tim Curry <laughs> presenting it. I'd, I'd want Tim Curry as, as, as it, the clown presenting <laughs> that, Yeah. That'd have been it. <laughs> So, You're then, there's a Kit Kat wrap as, <laughs> as the foils coming down, it's like they're all, they all float down here. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh.
Well, it has been a pleasure going down that um, <laughs> memory lane. Uh, <laughs> You've brought back me memories. Well, I can remember it. It's just Channel 4 and Sound Shoes. But um, thanks very much, Andy. And I hope you can no, get you on here again to burst another memory bubble. Thank you for joining yeah. me. No worries. Thanks for having me, Dave. It's been a pleasure. Read the sign. To release the fucking crystal, complete the picture of Billy fucking crystal. Come on, pick up the tiles and put them on the bed as quick as you can. Oh no, we're doomed. Is this fucking right? Write the theme tune, sing the theme tune. A really big shout out again for my good friend Andy Watson for taking part in today's episode. So to play us out of this episode is a TV piano themed guy playing what of course crystal maze until next time thank you for watching please subscribe and stay safe Okay.